my name is Daniel Olson, uh, Norwegian Chinese, Chinese Norwegian living in Japan. This is my workshop in Nagoya. Uh, we have made uh, quite a few uh, videos about varnish before. Today again, I'm going to make another video about varnish. But today, uh, unlike the last time, the last time we mainly talked about the principle, uh, the process of making a varnish. But today, uh, we trying to do something concrete, uh, work on the violins to show you how to do it. And uh, in a word, we do more details. Okay. Uh, first of all, we have a white violin. When the violin is finished, uh, hang up for some time. Some people put in the sunshine. Uh, it's okay, just natural dry. Don't uh, uh, oppose to too much sunshine because it can cause crack. Uh, best is the natural dry. And uh, when it's dry thoroughly, uh, we can start to make varnish. I showed to you before, I will add some video uh, before that how to seal the plate. Okay, uh, the one of the, the way and the simplest way to seal the plate is to apply a few times, maybe two, three times uh, clear varnish, uh, transparent varnish. Then when the varnish is completely absorbed by the wood and sealed completely, then we sand, we sand the, the violin. Today, uh, I have a violin here, which is, uh, have been done for three times. Now I can sand up the violin, then we will make the color. Now I show you how to do it. Okay, this is a violin uh, we have done three coats, three coats of clear varnish. Uh, it's very transparent. The wood is, uh, you can see, very nicely looking. So now we sand it. Uh, I tried uh, to use uh, water, water sandpaper, but uh, the oil varnish, this kind of varnish, because you have to test your varnish. As I mentioned before, when I teach my student, I want them to get the material uh, in a local store. Uh, in local, not uh, from far away. So the varnish, well, the varnish we bought in Japan, uh, it's better to use a dry, uh, sand up dry, not use water. So just use sandpaper. And when when I use sandpaper, I always put something inside to make it uh, make it thicker. Uh, if it's thicker, um, the the surface is smoother. You you can you can sand it better. So this is all normally I do. I put something inside and uh, like this, then then I can sand it, okay? Now I'll show you how to sand it. To, to just make circles, don't use too much force, okay? Just to use uh, like a massage. Hmm? Sand the surface, make circle. You can, you can also go in this way on the top. Finally, in the beginning, you make circles. Okay, make circles. And also, be careful uh, about the corner. You know, this, the edge is also very important. The edge. And also, also always careful with the edge. Okay. Okay. Now you can see a lot of powder going down. Huh? You can see drop huh? powder drop. Mm -hmm. And one thing, uh, be very careful you don't to sand the edge, the woodwork. You know, when the violin maker will make the violin and we made a beautiful edge, you know, don't sand it up. Please keep the beautiful handwork. I 
as you can see, the surface is very smooth now, very smooth. We have to do the whole violin. When the whole violin is finished, uh, then we apply color. First, I have to make some color. Then I will put a varnish in. Here's the varnish. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, to make a color on the violin with the varnish has two kinds. One is uh, clear violin. Uh, clear violin, we uh, make only color as I did in the first violin. And another is we mix the color into the varnish and uh, apply it. Now we do the second. Uh, to see how it happened. I think it looks good. So far, so good. Uh, it looks got, looks nice. Okay, looks uh, it works well. Mm. Okay, the point is uh, don't make it too thick. Just uh, I guess. Looks so nice. <laughs> Looks nice, ne? Okay, this is white. Now we have a, a gold brown color, which is a very nice color. And uh, 
transparent, very transparent. Now the top. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes miracle happens. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we finished this violin with color, the first coat color. Uh, after dry for a few days, then we will make play another two or three color. Then with uh, a uh, uh, clear varnish, it will finish. Nice. <laughs> After signed up completely, we started to apply uh, color. This is a violin. Uh, I, we, we did it two days ago. And uh, the first coat of color. Uh, to let the color dry, it takes a few days at least three or five days. But uh, since I have to travel, and I won't have time to wait for another two days, so I will try to do it today. But the color is not completely dry yet, so I will be very careful. Okay. The first layer, the first layer of color is uh, like an orange, uh, light color. Then we build the color a little bit uh, until the color you like. Okay. So this is the second layer of color. First, I put a little bit of color. Okay. Uh, the edge is important. You put in the, the edge first. Okay. Because we don't want to leave this place uh, white.
some people like uh, make uh, the color like an old copy but uh, for me the first the first thing you try to make it as even as possible you can easily make uh, the, the different color slightly different later it's very easy first uh, you make it same color as even as possible okay I think this side is okay now it's a nice color Okay, I uh, finished top and the one side. Okay, now I leave this side and the back uh, for my student to, to finish. Okay. After two, three, four, depends on what color you want. You finish the color, then you put on the varnish again, two, three times, maybe four times. Also depends on, uh, then you sand it up, sand it up, and uh, finally you polish, and you finish like this. Okay, this is a violin we have finished uh, here in the workshop from the beginning to the end, together with my student. Uh, Okay, I hope you like my video and I hope you find my video helpful and I will make more videos about the varnish later and um, please follow us. Thank you. Daniel Olson in Japan, Nagoya. <laughs>